Hello everybody, I am Hardik Patel and this is my second video of Git tutorial. In first tutorial, I explained how to install Git, what is Git, what is GitHub and everything. Now in this second video, I am going to teach you how to work with that Git. So whenever you start any project, you will create one folder, right? So let's make it one folder. Make directory demo. Okay, so you can see here, uh, I have opened three windows currently to explain very uh, in a good way. Like here you can see this command prompt. This one is explorer where you can see all the uh, changes happening. And here the, uh, whatever the file I am going to open. So now, so right now this is folder demo and I will uh, go to the CD, change directory to demo. Now if I will fire this command git status it will say that not a git repository that means there is no dot git folder inside this folder so let's check that see the folder is empty completely right so if I will make one file touch readme.txt right so I have created one still it will say the same now so I have created one project inside the project I have many files and now I want to make it trackable with the gate then how we can do that so there is one basic command to make it enable with the gate git init so that would initialize this repository as a empty git initialized empty git repository inside the dot git folder why because we wanted to make everything trackable now inside this git folder you can see many folders reference objects info hooks so those are all the configurations you have made for the repository it will be stored here and one more thing is that these are files are everything everything is saved as an object inside Git. so whatever the size of pro your project more than the more than that the size of git folder will be there right so so i will explain that uh, in a better way when i will have more files and more branches and more the commits so let's make some commits so if i will uh, fire this command git status here now you can see that is untracked files untracked file means whatever the files are not tracked by the git so we haven't added this file to the git uh, source control that means git doesn't understand what is that that's why it is untracked files even that is not in version wise so so right now git is not tracking this readme.txt file that is why it is called untracked files now if you want to make it trackable then git add readme.txt so you can uh, use this command by file name as well as dot dot means everything you want to add whatever inside this untrackable files or modified files so you can use that command but for now right now we have only one file so we will just do git add readme.txt so let's enter it now git status so what it happens see changes to be committed and git rm this is hint they are also giving us hint if we have done something mistakenly then we can undo that change right so if I if I don't want to make it uh, available in the commit or I don't want to commit that file this is just temporary file then I will just again I can unstage this by using this command git rm let's check, check that enter see rm get me dot txt remove that means this is not actually removed this file is there see you can see that but that is removed from the their share source control now they are not controlling this file they are not versioning that file okay so let's status again see now git add dot Let, let's uh, let's do this time dot dot means it will add all the untracked files and modified files git status now there is one simple command git commit what commit will do this will just make one uh, hash you can say and it will uh, keep as a history 
so whenever you want to make a revert or something whenever you want to use that commit you will have one id so let's commit this and i will show you so this is a vim editor which i selected while installing initial commit escape colon wq under so it will save and automatically complete the commit right now if you will see the good status there is nothing now uh, if you want to see what i committed recently so you can use this git log command and inside that log command it will show all the logs all the commits you made <coughs> or others made all as well if it is uh, from the global there are multiple players who are working on this git repository then you can see all the commits here from other developers as well so right now the author is hardik patel and date just now initial commit this is message and this is commit id and if you want to change this message recent message just we haven't pushed yet right so right now we haven't worked on remote repositories so we cannot push right now but if you want to change message of their commit which is not pushed then git commit i five one command so it will open that editor again and your message will be there and you can modify it modify it. okay now if you see in git log the message will be changed see initial commit modified so this is just a commit right still it is not on remote repository so how we can change how we can check what is my remote repository for now right now we don't have but still we can check right git remote if you will see git remote there is nothing otherwise it will give you an answer and that is we can going to add right so for adding this particular repository we should have one repo on uh, github or btech bucket or uh, gitlab but for now i am uh, taking example of gitlab uh, github and i will create one repository here uh this is github.com i have only logged in so you can log in again and check it so start a project and i can give the name demo all right so whatever i wanted to give name just this is initializes repository with readme but no i don't want to do that because i want completely empty repository so let's create that one yeah so it will give you some inst few instructions Uh, to make it uh, work with you so see there i i explained right there are two way to start the project so see or create a new repository on the command line so there are these are the steps what we have already done get in it get add uh, something file we have already added readme.txt also we have committed and now there are two commands are remaining so how we can add origin so first of all right now we haven't uh, set up the ssh right ssh key so we will use the http file copy and how we can add this so git remote add and whatever you know whatever name you want to give you can add like uh, what i can give let's have a demo Okay. so demo is my name of a remote repository it will indicate that this is a remote repository now the name and control v okay so now under so remote is added now you can see which remote we have added so it will show you that demo right now so another thing is that you can configure your git so if you want to see all the configuration you have made right now so git config iphone l so it will show you all the configurations which are in this repository so see so user.name hardik patel user.email hnumber.live.com so all those are used for author so whenever you do commit here automatically these names and email will be attached with that 
coming so in future when we see the history you can get that so who has committed this change right and this is remote.demo.url so whatever your remote repository there is one url and one other is fetch fetch is for pulling the changes from the remote repository whatever this reference means not only code but there are many things like branches tags right hooks so there are many things so i already uh, so here there is see objects objects means actually your code references hooks other information and logs so all all information will be saved here logs means whenever you uh, fire the command git log it will show all the logs from here now let's go further let me open this yeah which status right right now there is nothing changed okay now git log okay now this commit is not on the github but if i push it so how can i push it git push uh, normally you will have a default uh, name of remote will be origin but for now we have created for the demo demo right demo and what is our branch is master See, it will ask me for the credentials because that uh, that is my repo and I will give my username and password yeah so see right now uh, when we created the branch when we initialize this git repository master branch was there in locally but that was not in the remote because that was completely empty branch and that's why it is saying that new branch is created now you will you will be able to see this let me refresh this page and now you can see initial commit modified that is the message and the file whatever we have put here okay so in this video uh, that's it for today in next session we will learn uh, how to see the modified changes which changes i to i want to commit if any conflicts are coming then how how i how we can resolve those conflicts how we can merge those branches how we can create the branches there are many things are pending so i will teach you in next lesson until then see you bye